Hey, it's Tuesday. It's time for our midweek weekly up blast that we do with a video format. It's usually three or four minutes long. I'll try to keep it that way again today. Uh, I first want to start out by saying happy Thanksgiving. A few weeks ago, I preached a message on Thanksgiving and the importance of it and what it really means to be thankful to God and how Thanksgiving is ultimately the, the heart of worship and how that uh, we should learn how to be humble, realizing that every good and perfect gift that has come into our life is not based upon our abilities, our talents, our goodness, or whatever it might be, it really comes from the hand of God. So as we celebrate this season and in this time we call Thanksgiving, I would really ask you to uh, turn and direct all your Thanksgiving first and foremost to the one who deserves it the most, and that is your Heavenly Father. Thank Him for all He's done. Thank Him that He opened your eyes to see light and life. Thank him today because he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for you. Thank him today because he sent his Holy Spirit to fulfill you and come into your heart and come into your life to meet the needs that you face every day as a child of God and as a Christian. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So I'm thankful to, to my heavenly family. I'm also thankful to my family, the bride of Christ. I, I praise God for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I've given my life to serving the Lord through the church of Jesus Christ. And it's in that ministry, in that life, that God has blessed me in so many particular ways and unique ways that the world would have never blessed me. I've been able to traverse across the planet and meet people from every back, kind of background and country and culture that you could ever imagine. And I, I thank the Lord for that opportunity. And I thank the Lord for his people that have invited me and let me in and let me be a part of their lives. I thank the Lord for the church of Jesus Christ. I thank the Lord for my family today. Man, I can't thank God enough for my wife who loves me, who loves Jesus, who loves people, who's the most gracious, loving, kind woman that you will ever meet. I thank God for my two kids, Joseph and Cherish. What a blessing they are to my life. And, you know, my mom used to share a passage from Scripture that says, I have no greater joy. It's found in, I believe, Second John. No greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. I have no greater joy today than knowing that both of my kids love God. Both of them are committed to Christ, and both of them are serving the Lord Jesus Christ in the ways that the Lord has opened the doors for them to do so. I thank God for the two grandkids I have, Abrile and Elena. What a blessing. I can't, you know, I, if I had time, I'd pull out my wallet, show you all the pictures, but I'm sure you've got grandkids, you know, many of you. But thank God for the blessing of grandchildren. And uh, this last weekend, just spending time with family. Again, listen, family is important to Pastor Joe, and uh, God has so richly blessed me and my family, and I thank God for that. I thank God for my, my church family. I thank God for the people whom I, I serve as pastor. Those of you who are listening to this, this video today, I can't thank God enough for you. You have loved me. You've helped me. You've encouraged me. You've sustained me in so many different ways. You pray for me. Uh, you, you show appreciation for me, and that means more than you will ever know. I, I thank God for the campus pastors with Pastor Tim and Pastor Gary who served beside me. Uh, for a long time, we've been working together as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank God for them, for their families, all that they mean to me. I, I pray today that you'll take some time to speak out, whether it's by video or by a phone call or by a letter or a card, an email, a text, whatever. But take this season of Thanksgiving and sit down and hold just things before your heart and let the Lord show you all he's done and then begin to express gratitude for that. It'll change your heart. It'll change your attitude for sure today. I want to say again, happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you. We'll get into some more stuff this next week. Sunday, I'm going to begin a series of messages talking about Christmas, facts, fiction, and fake news. All the things around Christmas that'll be a blessing. Sort out some of the myth and the folklore tradition, and let's get into what the Bible has to say about what Christmas really is. So you don't want to miss those next three or four sermons that are coming up as we talk about those things. But mostly, again, today my heart is just to say thanks to each and every one of you. God bless you, and I hope you have the greatest weekend. I hope somehow you can connect with family and friends. If it's not in person, then certainly get them on FaceTime, get them on Zoom or whatever, and let them know that you appreciate them and that you love them. I love you. God bless you, and thank you for the time today.